gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this See how this, the rest of this week pans out? Because uh, it's already Wednesday and I'm still in Florida. Check that fifth wheel. Still in Florida, so going to see how this works out. Not really bothered. Uh, shouldn't venture off too far, but you never know. Shout out to my truck buddies that reach out to me on email and stuff. I try to go over the uh, emails and put them in a video so that way if anybody has that same question it'll be on record you kind of have an idea uh, one of my truck buddies reached out to me and asked me uh, he's already got his CDL uh, he's been driving hot shot for about two years he's had his own company he was kind of wondering how how things work <clears throat> now usually once you have uh, if, if you already got your CDL like I came to TMC with my CDL already all right you still go to orientation and then the, based on how much experience you have, like driving experience with your CDL, uh, it depends on how long you're going to be with a trainer. Now, I can't remember how long they do uh, training. I think it's two weeks with advance and then four weeks if you, you know, you just like I had to do four weeks or five weeks at the time. But questions like that. I answer to the best of my ability, but if all else fails, reach out to a recruiter to get the the, the definite answer. But you'll you know go to orientation for I think orientation is 12 days. All right, you're gonna have a roommate when you go to orientation. That's just that's just how it is. Now you'll think a company of this size, you know, you'll be treated like an adult and have your own room. But I know it goes down to cost, and you know that's always the bottom line with most companies. So you'll have a roommate. Uh, just treat it like a regular job interview, man. Like I said, you just it's just random tests. Uh, like I said, you do a physical the first day, P test, all that the very first day. All right, they usually ask you, uh, depending on depending on uh, where you go to orientation at. Depending on where you go to orientation. I went to orientation in Columbia. <laughs> and like every day. Every day to ask. If you don't want to be here, just come to my office. And we'll get you taken care of. We don't want you getting out on the road. And then you want to go home or something happened or you, know, you change your mind. They asked that every day. I can't remember the gentleman's name. He asked that every day. Uh, so of course, you no know, onesies and twosies would drop out. But um, every day it's like, hey man, it's, it's nothing personal. I'm gonna take nothing against you. Just come back to my office when you feel comfortable, and uh, we'll get you on to the house. So I always like the questions about, or I see comments online about uh, the drug, the, you know, the, the, what kind of drug tests the TMC do. If you, like I always say, if you're worrying about a drug test, hey, get yourself right and come back. Because what you don't want to do is come to TMC or go to any company, and you go there and you down, uh, you uh, you, you pop hot for you know for whatever any illegal substance. So once you know you're right, you're clean. Hey, then you come on and apply and you come on in. <clears throat> but uh, it's like a two week job interview. That's you no, know, that's what everybody always says. That now. I'll say it's more laid back in Columbia. Now, when you go to Des Moines, uh, that's right there where the headquarters is. So you want to be, you know, ready to rock. I mean, you should be ready to rock regardless. But you know, they're definitely sticklers out there. I said, just do everything right. You won't have no problems. Uh, that's pretty much about it. But yeah, depending on how much experience you have, uh, that that determines how long you'll be with a trainer. I said it's either two weeks. Or four weeks, if I'm not mistaken. All right, they try to. That's another thing they do in orientation. You take these these crazy tests. Now they're nothing. It's the, these tests, are, I forgot what they're called, but they're, they're not held against you. 
they use it to, to pair you with a, a trainer and pair you with your fleet manager. So in theory, uh, it's, it's kind of neat how they do it because you get the results, I think, towards the end, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. But uh, you see what kind of person you are, what kind of driver you are, with, in theory, what kind of fleet manager and trainer you should have. All right, if you don't smoke, they put you with a non-smoking trainer unless, you know, you don't care. But usually they try to accommodate that. You know, they make sure they put you with a trainer that's the same, uh, that stay, of course, in the same area possible, uh, but pretty much, you know, non-smoker or smoker, stuff like that. So, you know, <clears throat> now, it's, as weird as it seems, like, you know, they allow smoking in the truck, but they don't allow no animals. Now, the worst thing is to get a truck, <laughs> That, that's been a smoker I mean personally kind of don't bother me but it, like my wife rode with me it bothered her because she got allergies real bad but I think that last specialized truck I had I mean by the time I was ready to get out of it I almost had that smoke smell contain, uh, uh, tank, uh, contained because so I was spraying for breeze and taking care of the air and, and spraying and stuff like that but I don't I don't smoke and if I did smoke I would smoke outside the truck That you know, even, when, even when I smoke a cigar every now and then it's outside the truck I don't want that smell inside the truck and I don't hear nothing from my wife because she already knows it's a brand new truck. And damn, uh, I usually don't smoke, so she'll be fussing at me. You know, she's a little lady, but a uh, little lady, but big bite. Little bark, big bark, whatever, how that say is going. But whatever, man, but we're going to go. It's going to be interesting today, so I already know it's going to be one, two. It's going to be at least four trucks. At least four trucks when I get there. Because there was one before me, it was me, and I seen two more turtles on the road. So that's four trucks. That has paper. So now I'm going to see how everything pans out because I got about an hour drive. I get there about when they open up, uh, just like I did yesterday, and see how uh, how unload goes. So I'm hoping for uh, something decent. I'm trying to think if I'll pull anything out of there. Uh, but I'm pretty sure my fleet manager will try to get me out of Florida for at least a day or two and then come back. Honestly, I don't care. It's... It's weeks of watch. It don't, it don't even matter. So enough rambling. We'll see you on the next one. All right. So like I thought, there's four trucks. It's four of us. Uh, this order, I'm the third one, you know, got unloaded. So um, you know the deal. I hopped out, helped my buddies do their tarps right quick, helped each other, you know, take that two, two to five minutes, get it knocked out, get back in the truck. Um... So, if you've never been here, or haven't been here recently, we used to go to the right side to unload. You know, you drive back to the back, you know, back in and get situated and get unloaded. Now with the construction, that area is back there is all blocked off. We got to go to the left. You go to the left, and you go to the right. Bad thing is you got to blindside back in. But hey, that's, it is what it is. All right, so make sure I'm okay. So I don't know where it's at. I don't know if you can see it or not. But yellow dot, the star, go to the stop sign, take a left, go all the way to the back. Like I say, that dock back there is it's super tight back there. Just that area in general, it's, it's all tight. So you gotta pull all the way up and then just like I said, blind side back in. Uh, once you, you're able to get straight, uh, you'll be able to get in there, but it's it's super tight though. I mean, left or right, you know, it's, it's kind of tight. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I got the camera freaking backwards. But um, and then once you get unloaded, you unload, uh, you go back onto the main road, and it's like spot for one truck, one truck <clears throat> to wait. Um, so I'll send my empty in accordingly. I'm not expecting too much. Um, it's already a line out here for trucks to get loaded. It's one, two, I see five. There's five, I guess about five trucks over there waiting to get loaded. There's one back here. Um, and, and the um, in the receiving line, so it's it's gonna be a, a interesting day today, uh, to say the least. Cause I'm not sure if they uh, loaded trailers yesterday or not. I couldn't I couldn't tell. I just no, I couldn't unload. I I took off. But um, 
It's already Wednesday. We're going to see how this day works out. Sip on my coffee. My wife's getting better making coffee. Uh, the thing is, she doesn't measure it. She just, she eyeballs it. Whatever. <laughs> so it's kind of funny because the coffee maker is like, it sits on the, it's on the counter and she's 5'2". So she literally has to stand on her toes a little bit to look inside the coffee pot to see how much coffee she put in there, you know? So whatever. It works. I don't put nothing in it anyway. So it's like some kind of uh, gourmet caramel macchiato Starbucks kind of like thing. So I'm expecting it's already 8 o'clock. They haven't called the first truck back there yet. And those guys, it's nothing personal because it's going to happen to me too. They're, they're going to have a time getting back there, uh, getting uh, getting back into that dock. So I know I do every time too. And I, I never had to blindside back there. So I told them guys, say, hey, just take your time. Get out and look as many times as you need to. And don't tear nothing up. And you'll get in there eventually. So, all right. Here we go. At North Carolina, I had two options pick up out of uh, Palaka, go to Sarasota, or insulation back to uh, North Carolina. Was there last week? Hopefully, get there in time. If not, be fairly close, but I know they got parking. So, here we go.